Hello everyone, this is Karen from Whimsy Wondering. I took a trip down the Kansas River this last weekend and I wanted to share what I found. First of all, to understand the Kansas River, you need to understand the landscape of Kansas and where the river comes from. The Kansas River originates at the junction of the Smoky Hill and Republican Rivers and it runs 173 miles to meet up with the Missouri River at Caw Point in Kansas City, Kansas. It is a drinking water source for over 800,000 Kansans, and it is often referred to as a working river, with such uses as agricultural, irrigation, industrial water supply. The Kansas River is affectionately known as the Caw. Sometimes you'll hear people refer to it as the Miney Caw. It is popular for canoeing, kayaking, rowing, and fishing. It is considered the world's largest prairie river beginning around Junction City and flowing all the way to Kansas City. It is a critical source of drinking water and something that we as Kansans must take an effort to protect. I spent my last Saturday in my kayak helping the friends of the Caw, removing battery cases and pieces of glass and other debris and trash that had washed up on its sandbar. The friends of the Caw is a grassroots citizens group committed to protecting the Kansas River. Their mission is to protect and preserve, advocate, discover and promote, educate and cooperate with other persons, organizations and public agencies to support a Kansas River ecosystem that is healthy. Spending an afternoon on the Kansas River is a relaxing way to spend some time. But we also spent time on sandbars. We cleaned up a lot of debris from battery cases, glass jars, trash, things that have floated down the river from places I don't know where they came from. People throw things into the river thinking it's not their problem. It is their problem. It is our problem. And then we need dedicated people willing to take their time and make an effort to help keep our river clean. The CAW needs our help. It needs us looking after it, caring for it, and ensuring that future generations will also have the opportunity to have their drinking water come from it, to be able to use their kayaks on it, to be able to peruse through the highways of the water and hit the byways of the sandbars, and enjoy life in our own backyard a huge thank you and shout out to Friends of the Caw, their leader, Don Bueller, the Riverkeeper for Kansas, who organized this event with different agencies, different volunteers from across the state of Kansas. I hope that you will take the initiative to learn more about the Friends of the Caw, find a weekend, a daytime that you can volunteer, and then besides that, get out and use the river. Here's a look at my bottle collection from that day. Quite the assortment and believe me I left many on the in the trash can. These are just a few that I chose to put in my own bucket. There's lots of glass and bottles and shoes and bones and animals. Other assorted tales. Some of the river keepers um, just to spend the night out last night.
beautiful day on the river. A little windy. It was a little chilly this morning, but it's turned out to be a beautiful day. We're heading to um, another sandbar after we cleaned up one. I think there are about 25 people that helped us. The crew is behind me, back their ways. And um, lots of glass, lots of battery cases. They did that particular sandbar a couple of years in a row. And so we were picking up, hopefully, you know, we're getting down to the end of it, which is what we want. We don't want our river to be dirty, right? We want to keep, keep it clean and work on it to make it a better place for future generations. So um, if you get an opportunity to volunteer for the Friends of the Caw, I encourage you to do so. It's a great organization. They can always use your help. Thank you. 